Hello, my name is Evie Evans. I am from Connecticut. Currently, I am double majoring in business administration and construction management. To go over the first uh, question for the interview, uh, what is the best job uh, you've had and why? Over this past summer, I worked for a construction company called Paradise Pools. Before I worked for Paradise Pools, I worked at Dunkin' Donuts. I, my family recently moved to Connecticut and I didn't know anybody. I didn't have any sort of connections. So I got a fun summer job, which was at Dunkin'. And uh, while I was working there, we would have um, regulars there. So the same people that would come in at the same time and order the same drinks. Well, during that entire summer, um, I would have regulars at five in the morning and one of the guys that would come in at five in the morning, his name was Vic Paradis. He owned his own uh, construction company named Paradis Pools and Construction. And he offered me a job because he really admired my work ethic and my positive like energy early in the morning. So over that summer, the following summer, I ended up working for him and I would consider that the best job I've ever had because he gave me opportunities without the experience, the uh, prior experience for working for him. And it meant a lot to me that he didn't like discriminate me because I was like a girl to work in the construction field. And because my family moved to Connecticut, I didn't really know any Buddy. So his family, because it was a family owned business, became family of my own and that meant a lot to me. As far for the second question, um, tell me about a time I've had to solve a difficult problem. Um, while I worked at Paradise Pools, there wasn't any sort of training, so I had to learn everything hands-on, listening to people over the phone. Um, I didn't really have any idea what I was doing and it was hard because the co-owner was extremely busy. So I felt like it was a bother if I asked her um, to get help guide me. So through that entire summer, I uh, listened to phone calls, I checked emails, I learned all my information just from just listening and um, I took it into my own hands for uh, to create a training manual therefore for other people that were to come into like the company like later in the summer they would have a better idea to like what what to do in the office how to answer phone calls how to answer emails or where the chemicals are stocked up so in the package I went over how to answer the phone like the basics of troubleshooting like resolutions what to do around the office such as restocking stocking, reorganizing, and then I also included a detailed map of like the warehouse and it has labels where everything is located. As far as for the third question, what makes me interested in working for your company, Bell Bank? Um, when I was seeking employment, um, I really wanted to choose a company that had like a culture that I am looking for, that I really want to be a part of. So from research of my own account, I gathered that Bell Bank has values that are very similar to mine. So um, when I did my research, I saw that Bell Bank really uh, values creating a family atmosphere and focuses on making the community a better place and that's something that I really want to be a part of. For the next question, um, tell me about a time that I had to deal with a difficult person and what are the steps that I did to resolve the, that particular issue. Um, in college, I played softball at MSUM and I had a teammate where there was tension between the two of us because we played the same position and uh, we had a tournament in Chicago and when we went to Chicago, I was fortunate enough to, I had like the playing time where she, she did not and she took it upon herself to address me in the hotel and she was very angry. I knew she wasn't angry at me, but I knew she was frustrated with the coach and um, when she was talking talking to me and yelling at me for her frustration how she felt that she deserved to be out there um I kind of solved the problem by asking her what could I do to be a better teammate and how could I make her feel so important as part of the team and I think that really helps develop like our relationship better and that is a little bit of how I solve that that solve, solve that problem and then for the last question, um, how would I spend my time if I didn't have to work? Uh Particularly, I, I really enjoy reading. I love reading books, but if I didn't have to work, I would spend my time like traveling to other countries and I would love to do mission trips in those other countries. I would love to build schools and um, buildings 
for like home and as well as homes for those who aren't as fortunate. Um, this past summer, I had a Make-A-Wish project. I was able to build a pool and a deck for a little boy who had cancer this over this past summer. And to me, it was just so fulfilling to help someone who is not as fortunate as I am in terms of health. And um, that's just something that I would love to do like long term. That is like a dream of mine is to go on mission trips and end up building like homes for those um who aren't as fortunate so that's something that I aspire in doing in the future but yeah that's the last of the questions uh thank you so much for your time and I hope uh, to hear from you soon thank you